Thank you, Andy, and the team at Amazon Web Services for having us here today. Um, so I'm here to talk about the collaboration between my company, TradeWorks Securities, um, the Amazon Web Services product, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, which you might know as the top regulator of the US stock market or the top cop policing the market. Now, uh, first a bit about what we do. TradeWorks was founded in 1999 as a financial technology company and trading company. And what we do is we build the technology that powers the infrastructure of the stock market ecosystem. Now, you can see a high-level diagram of that ecosystem right there. And as you can see, the stock exchanges put out a tremendous amount of data, approximately 2 million messages a second at peak bursts. They get ingested by trading servers that then analyze that data and make rapid decisions about whether they should buy or sell and send orders back to the stock exchange. Now, we actually build technology for both sides of that ecosystem. So we have one of the world's fastest commercially available trading platforms with a tick-to-trade response time of about 10 microseconds. And we also have some of the fastest exchange uh, trading technology in the world with a latency response time of about 15 microseconds. Now, in considering the importance of speed, it's not just your response time that matters, it's also how efficiently you handle enormous amounts of data. And I want to share a pretty interesting statistic with you. Um, about 5% of the daily volume in US equities goes through our platform every day. 5%. Now, the number of people that it takes to actually support that platform on a daily basis is about five. I find that mind-boggling. There are over a quarter of a million people that work in the US stock market. And if our technology or technology like ours was scaled throughout the industry, then only a fraction of those would be needed to support all this infrastructure. And as you can see, um, for a 50-person firm, uh, 50 firm, we have a pretty impressive uh, roster of partners and clients that have been working with us. Now, uh, back to the story about the SEC. So there was a transformative date in 2010, and that was the flash crash on May 6th that the SEC had to contend with. And what happened here is that the S&P dropped 4.7% in about three minutes, then it spiked 5.4% in the next three minutes. Uh, thousands of stocks were affected, um, billions of data points were created, and the SEC was called in to investigate. They were essentially put in hot pursuit. Now, what stood in their way was a pretty formidable data challenge. Now, you may think that there are only two exchanges um, out there, but in fact, there are over 70 exchanges or dark pools or ATSs where stocks can trade in the US. And together, they put out about 6 billion records per day. Additionally, another complication was many of the commercially available trading platforms at the time were only able to see down to the level of approximately a millisecond in terms of granularity, but events in the market were happening much faster than that in much smaller increments. And so if you'd want to see down to that level of granularity, then you actually had to download even more data, and then you're multiplying the magnitude of your data challenge. So this brings us to the point of how do you police the world's fastest traders? And if you're a fan of action movies, you know that in every action movie, there's a mandatory chasing at the beginning where the good guys or the cops are chasing the bad guys and the bad guys somehow get away because the good guys aren't fast enough or their car has some type of technical problem or they crash or something. And the lesson there is if you're trying to police anything, your speed and your capabilities matter. Well, we had a good place to start from. And that was TradeWorks was collecting all the data that was coming out of the exchanges for the past five or six years. But what that was doing was throwing off about a terabyte of data, which generated the, a demand for finding a place that it could be stored and analyzed efficiently. And the solution for us and for the SEC was to put that on AWS. And the advantages were multiple. There was extreme scalability, extraordinarily fast deployment, highly secure solutions and a low cost. And in fact, we reckon that for approximately one-tenth the cost of what it would take to build this from scratch, we were able to deploy 
uh, on AWS, and we're able to get the solution implemented in the SEC in approximately four months, which is essentially unheard of in our industry. So, what did we end up building in this three-way collaboration? I think it's pretty amazing. What we did is we virtualized the stock market and all its history and data that we've been collecting for the past few years, and then we lifted that up and put it into the cloud, and then with the implementation of the Midas platform at the SEC, they were able to reconstruct any market event, any day in history, and be able to watch that in real time, sped up, slowed down, uh, played forward, played reverse, you name it, and run analytics that would allow them to see events that were happening down to the microsecond level and down to the level of the individual records. So, what does that mean for the future? Well, I don't think it's much of an exaggeration to say that the SEC is the world's most advanced financial regulator at this point. Uh, with the advent of the Midas platform, to, to quote uh, Greg Berman, this propels the SEC from zero to 60 in one fell swoop. And the SEC is already sharing this data on their website and making their analyses public where it's affecting the discourse of what should happen in the future of regulation in the markets. So in the event that we have some other type of challenge like May 6th or an event of equal complexity, with two lines of code, the SEC will now be able to analyze every price tick over all the stocks that traded over billions of data points and an analysis that might have taken weeks to months before could be done at this point in something like 2.8 seconds. And the winners here aren't just the SEC and AWS and Tradeworks, but really the investing public, because they're getting markets that are better, safer, and better regulated. Thank you.